everyone and welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time here then hi my name is Lauren and on my channel we mostly talk about anything luxury but we also discuss lifestyle and beauty so if you're interested in any of these topics please consider subscribing to my channel and we'll get started with the video So in today's video, I'm presenting you a precise review and comparison of two different Chanel 19 handbags. One is fake and one is real. We'll learn how to spot the differences together. So if that sounds interesting to you, then please keep on watching. All right, so first let's compare packaging. And the first thing that we're going to look at is the boxes of the bags. I'm going to pause for a couple of seconds to give you time to guess which one is which. So here, this one over here in this hand is the box for the fake bag. And then the bigger one in this hand is the box of the real bag. The size difference is pretty normal because both bags are of different sizes. So it's normal that their boxes, well to fit them, have different sizes as well. I would say in terms of packaging and boxes, the boxes are pretty similar. The main thing really that comes to mind is the size of the handwriting, especially proportionate to the size of the box. Um, for the fake one is a lot larger than for the real one. I also think that the box for the fake one, again, doesn't have this little um, top of the rectangle, uh, this little line that comes here, um, over here. Uh, I think that this is something that is a little bit subtle and maybe also something that has to do with newer handbags. Um, but in terms of packaging, both are pretty similar. Next, when comparing packagings, we have the dust bags. And here, very similar to the boxes, the only main difference really is the size of the handwriting proportionate to the bag. So over here, we have the dust bag for the fake bag. And as you can see, the handwriting is massive compared to the dust bag for the real one. I also think that there is a difference that you can't really tell from the camera because it has to do with the texture of the dust bag. The texture of the real one, which again is over here, is a lot thicker than the fake one, which is here. All right, so now let's compare the handbags themselves. Do you have an idea of which one is fake and which one is real? I'm going to pause for a little bit of a second here. So in this hand, we have mine, which is the real one. It is the Chanel 19 in size medium in this beautiful beige color from the 22C collection. And over here in this hand, however, we have the fake bag, which is also a Chanel 19, this time in size small, hence the size difference. And it's from the 20S collection in gray. So the first thing that we're going to look at is the leather mine, which is the real one over here, is in lambskin. It's very soft and supple. The leather is super luxurious. And over here we have the fake one and the fake one's leather is very different. It's a lot more stiff and it's just not as soft, especially on the front and back. I think that weirdly enough, the sides resemble the real one a little bit more, um, but the front and back are very stiff. And I think maybe it has to do with the fact that the leather needs to be broken in, um, if that makes sense, that it needs to be used. So now let's talk about the hardware. Mine, the real one, which is over here, has shiny gold hardware on the CC closure system, whereas the fake one over here has matte silver hardware on the CC closure system. Elsewhere, meaning the strap and the handle in the real one, which again is over here, it's a combination of silver hardware, both matte and then shiny, and then also matte gold hardware. When we're looking at the fake one, which is over here elsewhere, meaning again, the handles plus the strap, we're looking at matte silver hardware and then matte gold hardware too, and then also champagne gold hardware. This is something that doesn't exist at all on my purse, but even when we're looking at um, comparing similar hardwares, there is a big difference. For example, if we compare the matte gold hardware that is both present on the real one, which again is here, and on the fake one, which again is here, there is a difference in color, which is pretty striking. So now if we're comparing the inside of these bags, there's actually not a massive reason for me to show you the inside, simply because it is remarkably similar. Honestly, I can't tell a single difference. Everything looked the same. There is a little pouch inside. There is a little 
um, Chanel logo, everything is exactly the same. I think the only difference comes from the fabric of the lining um, and how it feels. Looks wise, it's the same, but if you put your hand on it, the one that's inside of the real bag, which again is here, feels a lot softer, whereas the fabric that's inside of the fake one, which again is here, feels a little bit more like plasticky, um, if that makes sense. So now let's look at the stitching of these handbags and here it will be short and sweet because I actually don't see a single difference in the stitching of these bags. When it's on the front, on the back or even by the handles, it's obviously the same everywhere, which is kind of remarkable. I think this is a big giveaway usually to tell whether a bag is fake or real. And here, just from the stitching alone, I would be absolutely incapable of telling you whether it's fake or real. So in that sense, it is a pretty good fake. And lastly, let's look at the overall bag structure. So for the real bag, which again is in this hand, I would say that because of how soft and supple the leather is, the bag is a little bit slouchy and needs an organizer. And here when we look at the fake one, which is in this hand, this bag does not need an organizer at all. The leather is a bit more stiff. Um, there is a big difference in the type of leather, especially when you're looking at the front and back. And again, like I've mentioned before, it might also be because this one is obviously not broken in. I've never worn it, um, but I do think that this may be a reason why. There is a big difference in the structure of these bags. In my opinion, that's the thing that's the most remarkable about this fake and that is the biggest giveaway. So in conclusion, this bag over here is not a bad fake at all. Set aside perhaps the leather and then therefore impacting the bag structure as well. I'm not sure that I would be able to tell that this bag is fake, especially if I saw it from far and didn't have the real one, which again is here to compare it to. By the way, I love doing these fake versus real videos. So if you are interested in seeing another fake versus real video of another Chanel handbag, this time a uh, medium classic flap, then I will go ahead and leave that video in the little information link over here for you to see it. And also let me know if you have any recommendations or any like wishes for what you want to see on my channel next. I would really appreciate some recommendations. So as always, when it comes to my fake versus real videos, the fake bag, which again is in this hand, has been gifted to me. This is not the type of handbag that I would necessarily purchase on my own. That being said, if you are interested in purchasing this particular handbag, then I will go ahead and leave all of the relevant information in the description box down below for you to perhaps purchase this purse. for watching. I hope that it was fun and also a little bit informational for you. In case you wanted to learn how to spot a fake Chanel bag, I think it's always something that's useful. So if you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next one.